Hi, this is Amar. In my previous video, we have discussed about the asteroids. Now, in this video, let us discuss about the comets. Before going into the topic, we have only drawn the planets that are required for this topic, for this discussion. So, we have not drawn few planets, but that's, that's okay, don't mind it. So, comets are not so different as asteroids. Those are the rocks that revolve the sun in highly elliptical orbits. So comets, they revolve the sun in highly elliptical orbits. So the only difference between asteroid and comet, cam asteroids consists of rock, dust and metals. Comets also consist of rock, dust and metal, but these rock and dust, dust, dust and metal, they are covered in icy shell, icy layer. So the, that icy layer is the only difference between asteroid and comets. So icy layer and the, these have very high elliptical orbits. So sometimes they go far off after the Kuiper belt, sometimes they come very near to the sun. When they approach the sun, they, the dust and gas which is present in that uh, comet, so here the dust and gas which is present in this comet, it sublimates and forms an atmosphere like substance around what we call as nucleus. So this is formed by dust, this is known as coma. This is formed of dust as well as gas. This gas is influenced by the solar wind that is coming from the sun and the dust is influenced by the sunlight of the sun. So gas, the solar wind, it blows this gas, gas coma away. So it forms as a tail for this comet like this. And dust is affected by this solar uh, sunlight. We know that solar wind we know that solar wind is more effective than the sunlight. So in most of in most cases of comets, we find the gas tail than dust tail. So this uh, due as solar wind blows this gas tail away, we find that the tail is always uh, opposite in the direction, opposite to the direction of the sun, uh, this side. So the comets that come very nearer to the sun are known as sun grazers. So those that come very nearer to the sun are known as sun grazers and these tails have very low density. These tails are formed by the decaying of the comet's nucleus. So after many such uh, sublimating and again uh, becoming as icy layer, after many such decaying process, it completely evaporates and the comet is totally lost. It, it is completely evaporated. So few asteroids come very near nearer to the earth also and uh, these, astro these comets, sorry, comets, so comets are classified into two types, short period comets and long period comets. So they are classified into short period and long period. So short period comets are the comets whose revolution time is less than 200 years. So it's less than 200 years and long period comets greater than 200 years. So one, one, comet, one comet which is known to humans from many, from many much time is Halley's Comet. It was named after Edmund Haley and a scientist. So it, uh, it it was seen, it was recorded that it was seen by Babylonia, Babylonians, Egyptians, Chinese, etc. Greeks and all those. It was last seen in 1986. Last seen. And it is predicted to be seen again in 2061. Next. It is predicted. So one such comet is Halley's Comet. So this is about comets. We will discuss about the meteors and meteorites in my next video.
Thank you.